All right, welcome back, everybody. We got a matchup here, game number three. We got the Milwaukee Bucks taking on the Miami Heat. It's going to be a really good game. Uh, we got game number three. You got the Bucks up two to nothing. And if Miami wants to get back into the series, they got to win now. You have the Miami Heat as underdogs at home, plus one and a half, over under set at two, 26 and a half. Because I'm coach from Sports Gambling Daily right here on YouTube. Definitely consider subscribing and see if we can find a nice little winner here between the Bucks and Miami. Now, I predicted the winner in their game number two. Let's see if we can carry on that momentum. All right, so what I said in game number two is exactly what the Bucks needed to do to win, which was knock down their three-point shots, and boy, did they ever. They were red hot from three. As a matter of fact, they probably were just a little too hot. I don't know if they're going to be able to carry on that kind of shooting stroke. They scored 132 points in that game. Played pretty decent defense as well. Helped Miami from to under 100 points. And Miami, being one of the better defensive teams in the league, surely did not play like it. And unfortunately for Miami, uh, if they want to have any chance to get back in this thing, they really need Jimmy Butler and Bam Adebayo to really step up their game. Uh, Jimmy's only averaged like 12 points, maybe 13 points in the playoffs this season. I know it's just two games, but that shows you that he, you know, for them to be able to compete, they have to have him play, uh, play well. I mean, if he played even better in the first game, they probably would have won that first game. Overall here, you got Milwaukee traveling to Miami where Milwaukee actually has not been great on the road this season against the spread uh, 14 and 12 against the spread on the road. Now straight up. They are 20 and 6. So, you know, not that they're they're not a losing team on the road, but against the spread, they've struggled. However, most of those losses against the spread is because their point spread has been so high. Um, and here, that's not the case. That's not the case we're getting here. I'm actually a little surprised by the line, to be honest with you, because I think game number two is more indicative of what we're going to see compared to game number one. That being said, I'm just going to go ahead and take Milwaukee here on. The money line here. It might be a trap. I don't think, I mean, will Milwaukee sweep? Well, I can tell you if they win today, I think they sweep. However, there this might be the game that that Miami steals, but I don't feel comfortable taking the Miami Heat here. So give me the money line on the Bucks, and that's gonna be my prediction. I'd love to hear your prediction. You think Miami actually has a chance, or do you think the Bucks roll? Let me know what's up in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video. I'm Coach from Sports Gambling Daily. I'll be talking about the Phoenix Suns and the Los Angeles Lakers in the next video. Peace.